Olivier Gruner, and I welcome you to Home Evasion Awareness Training Program. So now we're going to go over gun uh, training level two. All right. So we learn most of the thing about guns, you know, handguns. So again, you know, this is a Glock 17. Uh, remember the rear sight, front sight, the slide, the trigger guard, the trigger, and the frame. Frame is right here. Okay, right over here. Magazine, magazine button, okay, and the slider. So every time I use a gun, make sure to clear it, do it three times, no matter what. It has to be a habit for you, okay? One, two, three, and then you can dry fire if you want in a safe direction. I know this is repetitive, but you got to. It has to be an instinct, otherwise you're going to get yourself in trouble, okay? And uh, we all made mistakes in life, and this one is life and death, so don't screw up with that. Next thing we're going to talk about, again, we saw the different drawing with the jacket on. Remember, in the back, pulling it. The weave, one, two, and the other one, I'm going to clear my jacket with my left hand and bring the gun up, okay? Good. Now I'm gonna show you a couple moves. Uh, when, you, when you draw your gun and you're carrying your gun, um, make sure that you're not always extended. You know, you don't, you don't walk and just having your, you know, your weapon always you know, aiming and uh, with the extended arms, okay? You want to make sure that maybe you keep your gun close to your body. And the reason for that is somebody, if somebody grabs it, okay, grab your gun, the way to defend it is make sure that you keep your hands close to your body, which you have a lot of power here, and you can weave it, okay? So if somebody tries to grab my gun, you know, I'm going to present myself to the side, boom. And then right there, you see how you can see I can still shoot. Okay, uh, if I'm extended, somebody grabs it. The first thing I want to do, I was I want to bring my body close to the gun. Okay, it gives me more leverage, and I'm going to show you in a couple of techniques that we did last uh, in the gym, and you'll see the difference. Okay, and at this point, we're going full power. Okay, not full speed, but full power, which is different. Okay, all right. Again, you're clearing your room. So you decided you're at home and something happened. Okay, you hear the big noise. And you're not sure that somebody is in your room, is in your house yet. And so you're going to clear a room. So how are you going to do CQB? Pull your gun out so you're half sleepy. And then you're going to keep your gun as close as possible. But then again, you know, make sure that you know how to shoot from this position which is different than the extended arms, okay? Right there, it's easier. You aim at the target, it's easier to aim your target right there, okay? Here, it's gonna be a little bit harder, okay? Most of the time, the gun, as you can see, wants to go low. You see how low I shoot? It's pointing down, and that's because of my wrist. So you gotta pull it back up a little bit, you see? Different here, this is natural. This is a natural, okay? But that's the way you want, okay? And make sure that your body, you know, move at the same time, all right? Now, remember, you don't have to look and point the gun where you're looking. That's, that's, that's not really a, a good habit. And the reason for that is this. If I know that the danger comes from this direction, and I know it's over here, right? But then again, I want to make sure that nothing is coming to my left, to my right, to my left, I can still look right and left without doing this because I know the danger. Most of the time, the danger is going to be here. And I can still see with my peripheral vision right there. You see? If I'm looking over here, I can see still over here if something is coming, okay? Or if there's movement, okay? Now, if you're going to do this at night, it's going to be different, okay? So when you clear rooms, so make sure, uh, first of all, that you know Example, I'm going to open the door. Does, it op does the door open when I push it or do I'm going to have to pull it? 
which is a little bit different. Now watch this. If the door, I have to pull the door, and I'm here, right there. The door is right here. I'm opening the door. Now look, I have my gun right, right over here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to clear. Okay, so just do some exercise. Go over your house and just take your uh, a blue gun. We call it a blue gun. You know, it's uh, orange, but some of them are blue. And uh, but everybody understand what the blue gun is. Okay, and you can't do the drill without your real gun. Okay. And you can't go over your house and just do some CQB, you know. And look at where your uh, choke point are, you know. Where, example, the top of the stair is really good. You know, you get a good uh, um, POV of what's going on. And you can really control that area, especially the bottom of the stairs. This is where the guys are going to have to come to get up into the room. And this is where the best position is. Okay, and don't be afraid. So here's the thing. Most of the time, you know, uh, what you want to do is, is if you want to shoot, you want to hit your target, okay? So it doesn't matter if my form is not perfect. The bottom line, you want to hit the target. So I can be like this, I can be like this, I can be like that, I can be like, like this. I don't care. The point is to hit your target, right? So sometimes you are, uh, there's a wall right there. Okay, and I'm backed up. This is, is another wall because if the wall is over here, right? Okay, you don't want to be close to the wall because then now watch this. Then if the wall, this is a, the, the end of the wall, I'm going to have to put my head up. You see that? And then it's all, all this is going to be exposed. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put yourself as far as possible, you know, from the corner. And now it's going to be harder, you know, right now, boom, right now I can see it. Now there's another technique also. You can pop it, boom, and then you see there's somebody there. You can just put your gun there and just start shooting. Bam, 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 bam. You know, don't be afraid of having your eyes not on the side. And just try to learn also how to shoot with your gun, not with your eyes right there. Okay, so that's going to help you when you do CQB. Okay, it also, you know, make sure if the corner is over here now, watch this. If I, if my eye, my dominant eye is on the right, what's going to happen is then I have to bring all my head right over the corner. You see now, all this is exposed. You see that? Instead of having only um, this part of the face now, you know, because I can shoot also with the uh, opposite eye okay um i wish i had a corner but we'll do that you know uh we'll do that later on i'll show you when we do cqb and when we clear the room okay now be careful of one thing we did an exercise yesterday with my friends and we went and clear some rooms um <clears throat> make sure uh, uh, the point of view which is interesting is this i'm looking at the catch he was looking at the catch from this direction okay and from this direction, it was clear. There's nobody on the catch, nobody behind the, the catch also as well. And then, but I was hitting so well that he had to be perpendicular to the catch for him to be able to see me. So, of course, he passed through me. He didn't see me. So, make sure that when you want to clear a room and you want to make sure that it's totally clear. Okay, make sure it's totally clear. So, look at every corner. And as soon as you clear, you can move on, okay? Um, now, the next thing is um, when you open the door, make sure you push the door all the way to make sure there's nobody in, okay? Don't, don't push the door or kick the door and the door goes halfway, okay? You still have maybe a chance of having somebody there, maybe hidden at the bottom, you know? Some guys, you know, they're not going to be standing up. Some guys are going to be laying down. So even if they are very low to the ground, so make sure that some guys, you know, they are very well trained. You know, they're going to trick you. Some guys are going to be standing up. Some guys are going to be kneel, kneeling. Some guys are going to be on the ground, you know, totally on the ground and hitting in the shadow. So that's why it's good to have a flashlight. 